Hey my awesome people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to demo for you the new SVG tool that was low-key released by the premium add-ons for Elementor that actually enables you to have custom animations or custom SVGs that you can animate and play around with on your website. So we have our SVG text over here, which is animated. And we have these buttons below here. It has an SVG icon that animates. And when the animation is complete, it fills up this icon with a different color. And now we have this other over here, which only animates on hover. And in this video, I want to show you simply how you can add such features on your website using the SVG dot tool. Okay, let's get started. When you look over here on the SVG documentation, from the premium add-ons for Elementor, they actually show us that we can animate our font awesome icons, custom SVG icons that you can actually design yourself from either Illustrator or other online tools, and then also the custom text draw tool, just like I have shown you over right here. And then over here, they show you actually some of the features that you can add on your SVG draw animations or SVG animations. So what I'm going to do, I'll use the SVG widget, which is from the premium add-ons for Elementor. This is actually in the free version of the premium add-ons for Elementor. So don't be like, um, I don't have premium add-ons for Elementor. No, anyone can have this add-on. All you have to do is install it, activate it, and make sure that that widget is activated in the premium add-ons for Elementor widget. So how do you do that? Go to widgets and add-ons. And here you can search for SVG. Make sure that it is turned on so it should show green in this case. Then you are good to go. So the next thing you have to do is simply come back here to your page and you are going to simply look up for the SVG widget. I'll drag it to my container. Good. Now I can choose from the type of SVG that I want to use. In this case, I want to use a custom SVG. And I want to create an SVG from a Google font. So what I'll do is click over here on Google font to SVG. Choose the Google font you want to use. Choose the variation or, you know, the style of the font. Add the text that you want to use in this SVG. And also the size of the text over here. And once you are done, simply just copy to the clipboard. And then come back here to your SVG widget. Paste your SVG code over right here and automatically you're going to have a preview of your text or your SVG text that you have already created. And below here, you are going now to play with the, with the size of that SVG. So in this case, I'll make it like 300 and so 324. And then I am going to play also with the height. So in this case, I'll make the height to be about 35, something like that. I'll leave the option to draw the SVG enabled. If you don't have that option enabled, then you are not able to add the other custom features for the SVG or to animate the SVG. I'll enable reverse animation. When you enable the reverse animation, that animation will run from the ending point back to the starting point. So I'll enable that. I'll not add an end point. And down below here on how this animation should work, I'm going to enable complete draw when visible on the viewport. So. When I enable that now, you'll see that now my animation starts. Before it was set on draw on scroll or by default, it is set on draw on scroll. And that means that it will only animate once someone scrolls the page. But now with this option enabled, it automatically starts to animate. Then down below here, I can choose the speed. So the lower the figure here, the faster the animation. So I'll leave it at five in this case. And I'll enable to loop the animation. The animation will keep playing all the time. The yellow effect enables restarting the drawing from the ending point. I will enable the draw all parts together and also fill color after draw. Now let's go over here to the styling options. And here we are going to enable the stroke color. So the stroke color is going to be a black color. After draw fill color, I'm going to enable that also to be a black color or my color over here. I'll set the path thickness to one. No background type. I'll leave everything down below here on the default settings. So I will now say that our SVG draw animation is enabled on our heading. So first we did is to convert our font or our heading that we want into an SVG. And then later add the other settings, the yellow effect, the reverse animations, the loop and all that stuff. Now let's go down below here and we add our buttons that are having other features from the SVG draw widget now before we continue into that i have to mention that this svg widget has been made to work also with other widgets from the premium add-ons for elementor both in the free 
and the pro version now in this case we are going to be using a button widget make sure that that button widget is coming from the premium add-ons for elementor so it should have this pa icon and i'll drag it over here i'll rename this button to be custom order custom order you can add a url or to an existing page or to an external page just like you have been doing before in elementor and now i can choose an icon whether it's an svg icon like i have told you you can make your own svg icons but in this case i'm going to use the font awesome icon and i'll come over here to the library and look up for an icon this is the icon i am using i'll insert it over there i'll make the icon to be after that's the icon position and then i'll enable the draw icon now this is where the svg draw feature comes into play i'm going to add the path thickness i'll make it 10 and then the speed i'll leave it at 5 i'll loop the animation i'll also make it to go reverse i'll not add an ending point i'll leave all the others here on the default settings except the icon size i'll make that 30 and the icon spacing i'll leave it to be 15. now i'll go straight to the style option and under style is where now I can add my custom colors. So I want to add after draw color fill. I want that to be a yellow. The text color is going to be black. Uh, the icon color is going to be transparent. I don't want to add a color to the icon. So I'll just make it to be complete transparent. Stroke color is going to be a white color. So I'll just come over here, choose my white color. That's it. And background color is going to be a blue on hover text color is going to be white and icon color is going to be transparent and then stroke color is going to be a white color as well and the background color is going to be a black color so i can just choose a black color over here and now we have our svg icon one from font awesome that has been now converted into an svg draw animation and it is added on a button widget now the question is what if you can't find that your button is working with the svg how do you enable that so let's go back here to our dashboard and we are going to look up for for example the button widget button so this button widget make sure that it is having the enable svg draw option enabled so make sure that is checked now you are able to use that widget with a svg draw option so don't forget to check that in case it is not working for you but i also want to show you the other widgets from the premium add-ons for elementor that have the svg widget enabled and that the list is added here so you can use these widgets with the svg icon or with the svg draw options in case you realize that some widgets don't have the svg options just know that that option wasn't enabled for that specific widget and we're now back into our editor now we are going to duplicate this button so duplicate in our second button we are going to make some changes as well so existing i'll leave everything here on the default and now i'll come over here to the icon type i'll choose my another i'll choose another icon so i'll use the layers icon here path thickness i'll set this to be 25 and the speed will be five and uh, i'll let it to be loop and reverse and i'll add an ending point so the ending point here is going to be five or five percent and here i'm going to enable that it only plays on hover and i'll also enable the yellow effect and that's it for now so i'll go now to the styling i'll add the after draw color fill and the text color the text color is also going to be white here and icon color is transparent stroke color is going to be white and the background is going to be transparent so i'll just make that that way and on hover i'll leave everything just as it is so now you realize that we have our icon over here and it should only animate on hover so once I hover, it animates to an ending point of 5% and then it loops. And this only works when the button is hovered. Anyway, that's it all for now. I will now update and now I'm going to go and preview our changes on the page. 
That's it all for now. We have our SVG animations in the header using the SVG widget and also font awesome icons that have SVG features enabled and we have these animations over right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope now you have an idea on how to add SVG animations using the SVG draw feature from the premium add-ons for Elementor and add some life to your pages. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good time and goodbye.